Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Jackson's sweet potato chips. I have the sea salt, the Carolina barbecue. Uh, farmhouse ranch, habanero nacho, and spicy habanero, uh, jalapeno. So these two, the sea salt and the Carolina bar uh, barbecue, were bought at Marshall's and they were on clearance. They actually have a red tag on the back for four dollars each. There's a red tag, four dollars a piece. And mine were bought at TJ Maxx. All three of these, they were four ninety nine. And the dates are all yeah, really good. Are good. I mean, these are good until December. So I mean, it's Guess like just trying to get rid of them. I, I don't know. I don't know why they're marking up. Do you realize we're trying the Jackson Five? <laughs> The Jackson 5. We have five different kinds there. The Jackson 5. Okay. These say Jackson's avocado oil, sweet potato chips, sea salt, kettle cooked. It is a seven ounce bag, 198 grams for $4. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. About seven servings in the container, one ounce, 28 grams is 150 calories. These are gluten free and vegan. They are made in Wisconsin. They are made in a facility free from the top nine allergies. <coughs> there you go. Well, they're sweet potato chips, so they're not going to be sold in like a regular supermarket for the most part. You know? So that might be a good price. Okay. I like sweet potato chips because normally they're softer. They're a different texture than regular potato chips. And these are all fold overs. Yeah, they're curled up. It depends on how much they've covered up the sweet potato flavor, and they have it. <laughs> you 100% know that that's a sweet potato. Because there's no salt. It's supposed to be sea salt. Yeah, they didn't put any salt on those. Like, no. They're still sweet potatoes. Mm hmm. I mean, well, they're still sweet sweet potatoes. Mm-hmm. Um well, it's bad. I still like it. Yeah. I don't eat sweet potatoes because I don't eat mashed potatoes or baked potatoes. So I'm not gonna eat a sweet potato. The only way I've ever had a sweet potato, I've never even, in chips. I've never even had one. The only way I've had it is in chips yeah. like this. They do have sweet potato fries. You might like those. But I like that. I think that I think it's good. Yes, you absolutely know it's sweet potato. Mm -hmm. They haven't covered it up at all. It says sea salt. This would be like a lightly salted or something because I'm, I'm hardly getting any salt. Let's see, the sodium is only 150 milligrams. I don't think that's much salt. Let's see what these are. These are 170. So how can you call this sea salt, but yet you put more salt in your barbecue? We're gonna have to look at that throughout this process. Yeah. Let's look at the salt now. Because to me, you should not, promote those as sea salt if those okay. don't those should have more salt yeah, they have very little salt they have, if, if you yeah. like the flavor of a sweet potato though and you like a, a little bit of a crispy texture they're, they're, they're good they're, they're good for what they are these are the carolina barbecue and they are same calories 150 calories i don't have to give you as many pretty much look the same yeah, Carolina barbecue. These have a Carolina barbecue seasoning blend. Garlic powder, extra tips of paprika. They have a natural smoke flavor, it says. I know what that reminds me of. What? I don't want to say it to you. I've had a good. It's got a little kick to it, which I like. Not a lot, just a little bit of a, on the back of your tongue, you get a little bit of a tingle. It reminds me, now that I'm getting a little bit of spice, of the spicy ketchup. Oh, yeah. Kind of reminds me of a ketchup-like flavor. Because it doesn't have, like, a lot of, most uh, barbecue sauces have, like, a smokiness to them. Mm -hmm. This really doesn't have that sweet, smoky flavor. It's more of a ketchup-y flavor. I see what you're saying. I like them, though. It's, it is, like, more of a spicy ketchup, but it's not as spicy as spicy ketchup. No, it's not It's not super spicy. It's just a little bit of tingle in the back of your throat. Yeah, just a little, little bitty bit. So, like, if you can't handle heat, you could still get this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, those are good. I love these. Yeah, those are much better than the, than the like, salt. Like, I think these are delicious, and, and um, I would just as soon have these 
is regular barbecue potato chips. Now that's the truth because it, it's a different texture. Sure. I like the texture so much more of these because mm -hmm. they aren't hard mm -hmm. and they're I, still crunchy, but they're not hard. I could eat that whole bag. I really could. I, I, I think those are great. And almost every one of them are full over, so you know that, that so hits that, another button for exactly. <laughs> so honestly, they're dangerous for me because the texture and the the fold over and then the flavor mm -hmm. and it's just really satisfying to the me. The barbecue ones are really good. I like. So, and you don't really taste the sweet potato underneath. It might contribute to the flavor, but that's not a standout flavor. These, these are kind of look the same, don't they? Yeah, farmhouse ranch, same calories. Uh, farmhouse ranch seasoning blend. It still has tomato powder, garlic powder, natural flavors. It has green bell pepper, spices. Mm. Mm. Eat one of these. Normally, you would avoid the dark ones. Try one of those. They have a different texture. I like the ranch flavor in those too. That's really nice. The what? The ranch flavor. I really like that flavor in there. Mm. It's good. Yeah, these are very dangerous for mm -hmm. me because what I'm doing is I'm looking down in the bag to see which one do I was going to be the next victim, and I would do that a hundred times over because every single one of them is a fold over. And the the flavor, it has the that um, ranch flavor is so good mm -hmm. that you want more and more and more of it. Yeah, it has some, some really good flavors. It's mm -hmm. like you get the the tang of the, the ranch and you get the, the seasonings and stuff like that. It's really nice. The sodium, by the way, because we're still, we would look at that, is 170. <laughs> still has it still has more than the sea salt one. Yeah, they just, they messed up on the sea salt. I don't think they should have put that on there. Okay, this one is, uh, is this the next one? Uh, we're trying to figure out which one would be hotter. One says spicy habanero, I mean jalapeno. The other one says habanero nacho. Try the jalapeno. It's okay. We'll do, we'll go for habanero. I personally think the habanero is going to be hotter than the jalapeno. We don't jalapeno, know. But I could be wrong. Um, usually we try to save the very hottest one for last. It's okay. Okay. Oh. This one has more salt oh, wow. than we've had so far. The other ones have had 170. Uh, this one has 180. And it says habanero nacho seasoning. You definitely gonna put a little tingle on your tongue. Those taste very um, peppery. I don't get the nacho part, but well, right, like they taste like peppers. I it says I was gonna say chili. It has chili powder. Yeah. Onion powder, chili powder. To me, it tastes like a, a nice spicy chili powder. I'm not good at chili powder. More mine's more of peppers, like a habanero pepper. Mm -hmm. Which is chili powder kind of. But chili powder tends to be a little smokier. It does. I think it's um I don't know. I, I do get the heat. They are uh they are uh spicy. Um but not ridiculously so. No. It's honestly it's a nice burn. Mm -hmm. It's a burn, but it's a it's a nice even heat throughout my over my whole tongue. Yeah, and it's not painful heat. It's just like a warmth. Yes, it's not even like I'll say sometimes it feels like a little pin pricks or something like that. It doesn't feel like that. It's more. I agree. It's more of like an electric blanket warmth, you know, throughout your tongue. Yeah. That's what it's like. Uh, so I I like those quite a bit. Yeah, I mean if you don't like spicy food, of course you're not gonna get those anyway. But. Uh, if you like a little spice, I think you'd be okay with those. I think these are not even as hot as your bones are. Okay. This one has the most sodium of all. <laughs> this one, we have jumped up significantly. 220 milligrams. Wow. The habanero had 180. The other ones have had 180. The salt, or no, the other ones have had 170. The salt had 150. These have 220. Okay. And these are the spicy jalapeno. Really smell like. They smell good. They smell, they smell like jalapeno. Like 
green. If you could describe green, that would be the that would be the smell that would describe the green. Yeah, but this is a good green, not grass. Mm -hmm. So these are just spicy habanero. I mean jalapeno. jalapeno. They are a little earthy, honestly. You think? Well, I think just the pepper flavor, that green pepper flavor, mixed a little bit with the with the sweet potato makes it a little bit more grounded. I like them though. The, the jalapeno flavor is really, really strong and really good. They're hotter though. You think? Oh, to me, jalapenos burn me up. Oh, that's right. Jalapenos is like one of the, like habaneros, jalapenos, that kind of peppers. Jalapenos will always feel hotter to me. And they are hot, mm -hmm. but they are salty. Yes, and they have a really good flavor. I really love the salt. The heat's coming now because yeah, I, I keep it's, eating them. It's hot. Um, these are so dangerous for me because mm -hmm. they're so, I've said it again and again. They're delicious. They're satisfying. Mm -hmm. These not only have the jalapeno, the heat, the spiciness, uh, but they also have that flavor, that classic jalapeno flavor. Which is good. Sometimes you don't get that in um, I could eat this entire bag mm -hmm. in no time because I am going to keep going and going and going. Um, I like the jalapeno too because it is hot though. So just know that. Oh yeah. It's not as hot as flaming hot though. It's not like that no, really super hot. painful, but it's, it's, the habaneros were less hot, but they didn't have that as strong of that green pepper flavor. It was just more peppers in general. Yeah. And I do, let me have one more of those. You don't have to judge them, just grab them. <laughs> she judges them. I like You go next. <laughs> You, you eat that. You know what though? Now that I've eaten the jalapeno and gone back to those, yeah. those have a really strong nacho cheese flavor. Do they have a cheese flavor? Uh -huh. I said I didn't get that the first time. Yeah. You really taste the cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. That cheese flavor did not stand out that mm -hmm. much until I had had the jalapeno. Yeah. No, I agree. It really does. I know what my favorite one was. The salt one I would not pick again because they don't have any salt in them. There's not enough of there. I would pick either one of the barbecue or the ranch. Because I really like the... You would pick the barbecue and the barbecue. Or the ranch, ranch, yeah. My very, very favorite one. Oh, well, these are just ketchup. <laughs> um, they just taste like ketchup, literally. They still just taste like ketchup. You're dead on with the flavor. Mm -hmm. It really does taste like spicy ketchup. Um, the ranch is pretty good too, though. I'm gonna go spicy jalapeno number one. Yeah, and it's just too hot for me to really want to eat a lot of. I just absolutely love those. And then I'm gonna go with the, um, I would have said the habanero until I went back to them and yeah. I got that strong nacho flavor. Yeah, the cheese um, is good, but it's not as good. Right. If. I did like it all by themselves, and you're never, you're not going to typically be eating these all together. I'm going to say spicy jalapeno, habanero, then barbecue, and then ranch. Yeah. And I would never get the salt again because they, they salt are out. alive. They do <laughs> not see salt. They have the least amount of salt of all of these uh, five. And you really, and if you're looking for that really sweet potato flavor, then go for it. They're, yeah. they're, that's what they are. But, but for not us, sea yeah. salt. Yeah, it's not enough salt for me. I do like them. I just wish they had more salt. I would go ranch, mm -hmm. then the barbecue. Uh -huh. And then if I had to do one of the other ones, I'd do the jalapeno. And I don't think I'd probably get the habanero one. I don't know why these are in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I have no idea okay. because they're delicious. And I don't think we've seen these anywhere else either. No, we? no, uh, no. This looks like something they would sell at either Whole Foods or Fresh Market, honestly. If you, you look know, at them, this looks like something they would sell there. Fresh Market might sell these. They might, I don't know. They might very well If sell they do, these. they would only sell like a couple flavors probably. Yeah, that's true. We'll, we'll, we'll notice next time yeah. we go in there after we've already done this review. It would not surprise me if they didn't have them at the Fresh Market. Um, but if you like spicy, um, hot, spicy jalapenos, the way to go. If you don't want that, um, 
if you can handle just the mildest heat, then I would go for the barbecue. Yeah, the ketchup. <laughs> yeah, ketchup. They so, could have called them ketchup and been fine. They could have. Uh, the plate is going to look the same. They all are orange. Yeah, they they all look the exactly the same. But I'll take a picture of them for you at the end anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.